The F-15 Eagle went into service in 1976 after making its maiden flight in July of 1972. With more than 100 victories and no losses in air combat, it is one of the most effective modern air superiority fighters. In 1985, the E-variant was created, two-seat all-weather multi-role strike version, fitted with conformal fuel tanks. The remaining variant of the F-15 that serves the U.S. Air Force and the Air National Guard are the C, D, and E variant. Originally scheduled to replace all of its F-15s with air superiority with the F-22 Raptor by the 2010s, the U.S. Air Force was forced to operate some F-15C, Ds until 2026 and replace them with newly constructed F-15 EX Eagle II in order to maintain a sufficient number of air superiority fighters due to the severely reduced F-22 procurement. It is anticipated that the U.S. Air Force will continue to use the F-15E Strike Eagle until the 2030s. Based on the McDonnell Douglas F-15E Strike Eagle, the Boeing F-15 EX Eagle II is a multi-role strike fighter designed to fly in all weather conditions. The airplanes were produced by the U.S. due to a lack of F-22s, delays in the F-35 program, and the need to preserve diversity in the U.S. fighter industrial base through Boeing's St. Louis Division. The Department of Defense conducted a Cost Assessment and Program Evaluation OSDK, study in 2018 to recapitalize the aging F-15C D fleet. The F-15EX is expected to replace the F-15C D in performing homeland and air defense missions and also serve as an affordable platform for employing large standoff weapons to augment the frontline F-22 and F-35. Delivery of the first aircraft took place in 2021 and operational service is anticipated in July 2024. The F-15EX aircraft is a part of the F-15 Advanced Eagle family, which is an upgraded version of the F-15E design. The F-15SA, Saudi Advanced, made its first flight in 2013, and the F-15QA, Qatari Advanced, followed in 2020. The current F-15 manufacturing baseline is represented by the Advanced Eagle in the F-15EX configuration. In contrast to the fifth-generation F-22 and F-35, which can survive modern air defenses, the F-15EX will not. But the F-15EX is capable of performing homeland and air-based defense, enforcing no-fly zones against restricted air defenses, and deploying massive standoff weapons to assist frontline stealth fighters. In July 2020, the U.S. Defense Department ordered eight F-15EXs over three years for $1.2 billion. Eagle II was announced as the official name on April 7, 2021. The FI 2021 Defense Appropriations Bill provided funding for the purchase of 12 F-15EX aircraft at a cost of $1.23 billion, increasing the total number of purchases to 20 of the 144 planned. The first operational F-15EXs are not to receive conformal fuel tanks. The U.S. Air Force cut their order count to 80 by May 2022. The Air Force's planned budget for fiscal 2024 includes provisions to purchase 24 more F-15EXs, bringing the intended fleet up to 104 aircraft. What do you think of the F-15EX? What are the pros and cons of having a 4.5-gen fighter that will be dominated by stealth fighters in coming years? Write your comment below. Thank you for watching. If you want to watch videos like this, click any one of the two videos featured before this video ends. Enjoy watching. This ends our video. See you in the next one.